Okay, guys, welcome back. It's Nancy. We're going to do a foil quill video with the Brother Scan and Cut. Now, this is the CM350. There is some prep work that had to be done. So, on my mat, I have a piece of black cardstock. On top of my mat, I have a piece of hot foil. It's very important to use hot foil. And the companies that you can use are We Are Memory Keepers Foil Quill Foil, Spellbinders Glimmer Foil, Toto Foil, which is in the UK. Couture Creations Go Press and Foil, um, Gemini Foil Press Foil, or I actually have a piece of the Cricut Transfer Foil on here, which is the new foiling system, okay? Now, on the scan and cut, you do need to have an adapter, and that is the B adapter for brother, if I could get mine out of here. Hello, release. Okay. So you can see it says B. This is the bold tip I have in there. You can see it is lit up because it is, does have to be plugged into a USB power source, which I'll show you in a second. And when we press this in the machine, the flat part needs to go into the back of the machine. Okay, so we're going to press that down and then lock that into place. Make sure it is completely flat and down. Okay, so now that's locked in. And I have this plugged into a battery bank. You cannot plug this into the machine. It needs to be plugged into something like this, a little, you know, phone charger battery bank, okay? And again, has to be hot foil. So it's all loaded, it's warmed up. We're gonna go over to our computer, which has now decided it wants to shut off now. I did a video earlier using the scan and cut design foil transfer sheet. I'm going to use the same design here. So all we're going to do is have that feather on there. I'm going to pull it down just a little bit. And it is on the draw feature and send that over to my cutting machine. Um, export the file, export it via Wi-Fi. It says it's exported it. I'm going to go over to my machine, select pattern. Select the Wi-Fi feature, there is my feather, and I'm going to hit OK. And in this case, I'm going to hit Draw. And I want it to draw. Now, we might have to change our settings to slow it down, but we'll try this, the settings that are already in there, and I'm going to hit Start. Now, the premise of this is the foil quill is hot, and as it's hot, it's pressing down on the foil, and hot foil has um, heat activated adhesion. So there's glue that's heat activated underneath that foil. So as the hot tip from the foil quill presses into that foil, the glue gets activated and it will press that image onto our paper. Okay, now here is a design I did with the foil quill transfer or the foil scan and cut foil transfer sheet. That is toner foil using a glue pen. So Basically, it drew the design with this quickie glue pen, and then it went back over and it bossed it, and it got the foil to stick. And this is using hot foil with the same design. So now I'm going to hit unload. It's done. Okay. And I do want to remove this so that it does not overheat anything. Pull that off of there. You want to disconnect it from its heat source if you are done with the foiling. Let's just leave that there for now. And let's reveal how well this did. So you can foil using deco or mink foil with the foil transfer kit, or you can foil with hot foil using the foil quill kit. So I'm just going to re remove some of this tape. Be careful too, your mat is sticky over here in the white areas. You do not want your foil touching any of those areas or your foil will stick. You may have to change the speed and the setting on your draw feature, um, but this came out pretty well. So there you can see the hot foil feather done with the Cricut transfer foil. I'll show you what that looks like. This is a hot foil. I know they do not advertise it as a hot foil, but it comes with a couple pieces of foil and it comes with that white tape you saw me hold down the foil with. Cricut foil transfer sheets. Here you go. Okay, and there we go. If you have any questions, post them down below. If you learned something new from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and keep on foiling. Bye, guys.